I know, this is kind of ridiculous. We're doing a bacon crust pizza. Looks pretty good, tastes even better. And the reason why we did this, we were working with different low carb diets and so we had to take away some of the, some of the bread and uh, we did a cauliflower pizza that worked real well. So this is just using actually as your base, actually one pack of regular old generic bacon work perfectly. Six uh, strips across, six strips up, and you put it in the woven pattern like this. So this is how you get started with a bacon crust pizza. Now, trick one, you want to start with things really cold and use parchment paper like this to just make things easier to handle. So it's got to be cold, use the parchment paper and allow you to cut it in the right shape. You save the little bacon ends for additional toppings, but then the parchment paper will really help you get it on the grill grate. So it's a little bit delicate at this point. If you're the colder, the better. And just flip it on there and start fairly low temperature. In fact, you get, really got to do indirect heat. You don't want to be over, over the open flame with bacon because it's just going to flare up. Simple as that. Get it going low and slow. Give it some time and you'll be in business. While it's cooking, you can take some of the toppings, like uh, the bacon that we chopped off, then chop up some of these uh, green peppers. And really, what this is just making a regular pizza. So whatever you like to put on top of it is going to work. Green pepper, uh, red onions here. And at the end, there is a couple things I would do differently that I will show you in uh, just a minute. But just top it off. Other ingredients, I use some crushed red pepper, some pizza sauce. Tried to grab some fresh basil and some really good fresh mozzarella cheese. It's like the ultimate meat lover's pizza. Oh, oh coming up, stand by. We can call it bacon porn in just a minute because it's gonna look amazing. But uh, the trick is just to really get the grease out of the bacon as much as you possibly can and allow it to get as crisp as it can. Okay, speaking of bacon porn, ready? Roll that beautiful bacon porn footage. Here you go. Drain as much of that bacon grease off as you can. You got onions in there as well, and then a really high quality mozzarella will really make things taste extra good. After about 10 or 15 minutes of cooking, head back to the smoker and hopefully you got it about 350 degrees. It's tightened up that pizza crust or that bacon crust a little bit and you're ready to do some of the toppings there. It's still kind of soft, so you're going to want to be careful with it. There you go, more sizzling bacon footage for you. And actually, this is one thing I would do differently next time. Instead of putting the sauce on the bottom, I would add a, a layer of cheese first before even that sauce, just to kind of help act as a guard from liquids draining through. Still works out great though. Add the bacon onion mixture, all your toppings, hand crushed tomatoes. One thing nice about working with a smoker is not only you're working with lower temperatures, it's a little more carefree to cook the bacon. Uh, also, it adds the layer of smoke, which is a whole other secret ingredient. Got your mozzarella. I like cutting the onions really thin so they cook through easily. Same with the green peppers. And any other topping you want to put on there, including the fresh basil. And fresh basil on here adds like a really great flavor and freshness. There is one more thing you have to do before you start cutting it up. But take a look at this first. Once you take it off of the heat of the smoker, you really want to give it a little bit of a rest, maybe drain it on a paper towel so the bottom crust of the bacon, it's still pretty soft. You're going to see it when we cut it here. So let it rest as much as you possibly can and 
that's pretty much it. You're smoking a pizza on a bacon crust. It turned out great, and it made about four, I mean, these are heavy slices, so it turned out pretty good. A little bit softer than I'd like, but uh, worked out just fine. If you would like all the details, all the ingredients listed out, easily, easy to read, head over to the website and check out, use the search term bacon crust, or I'll put a link to it here in the description section of the video below. Also, look for other recipes. I've got a free ebook with sauces and sides. Pretty cool. Just head over to the website and uh, get signed up for it for free. And you can also check out the direct link below. Bacon crust pizza. I appreciate you watching. If you liked it at all, make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, like, and we'll see you next time around. For more tips, tricks, other fun stuff, www.barbecuetricks.com.